on the King Fisher Release Planning. Um, King Fisher is uh, our next release. Um, we recently released 1.9, so uh, stay on us. <laughs> so from a logistics standpoint, if you can mute your line uh, while you're not talking, that would be great. We are recording this session, so you can reference it later. Um, agenda wise, uh, we'll, we'll go over the goals of this planning session, um, the roadmap, King Fisher schedule, and then we'll uh, have the leads for the various reads over their computer slides. So goals. Um, the goals of the planning sessions are uh, to make sure that we review and understand the community uh, plans for Kingfisher and the upcoming L release. So Kingfisher is targeted for May 2017. L is uh, targeted for August. Um, it's a great form for folks to um, show their dependencies. Um, this will help us better understand the integration requirements we have on the platform. And then this makes sure everyone is on the same page. Uh, we are doing sprint planning in a couple of days, so this will get us uh, ready for that planning session. This is the roadmap that we have for Kingfisher. So as you notice, um, you've got Junko, Kingfisher, and L. Um, with Kingfisher, the focus is on platform enhancements uh, with a strong focus on ensuring that we can uh, uh, meet ONS demo delivery. Um, as we look at the features, the features um, at a high level target dynamic configuration, virtualization, GUI, um, QA, and with some incubation features. So for dynamic configuration, uh, we're looking at adding NetConf and RestConf southbound, um, a RestConf northbound distributed store, and a live compiler. Uh, for virtualization, there's a focus on getting the OS agents, external connectivity, and embedding in place. Uh, with the GUI, um, it'll be completing the regions and layout work and re-adding the dark theme. Uh, from a QA perspective, um, the team was working on a performance white paper, uh, as well as incorporating uh, OpenFlow 1.3 and 1.5 features, enhancing the Delta security test suite. This um, test suite was incorporated in Junko and will be added to in King Fisher. And then for incubation features, we're looking at adding gRPC, um, uh, POC of a code base disaggregation, and uh, intent, uh, focusing on domains and transactions. Um, as we look at L, it's uh, focused around platform hardening. Um, so additional features in terms of dynamic configuration around uh, sharding of subtrees, transactions, and optimization. Um, Adding to the virtualization feature with uh, open tech integration, snapshotting, additional staff on and resiliency. Um, and then, as you see, the incubation features will be looking at adding some functionality in the L release. So there will be elements of gRPC, um, the code base disaggregation, intent, and additional features in QA focused around test on and mini net automation enhancements. Yeah, do you mind going to position mode so that you can see better? Thank you. Okay, Kingfisher schedule. Kingfisher is uh, going to consist of four sprints um, spanning about three months. Uh, the first sprint will start this Thursday. So for two plus weeks, what we're trying to do is we're trying to wrap this up um, a few days before uh, ONS. This will give us time to make sure that we get a beta. Then for ONS with some light testing from the QA team, so we have a, a somewhat stable uh, release for that demo. Uh, folks are, of course, welcome to use whatever they have on master. Uh, for ONS prep, we'll take three days, spanning from 329 to 331, um, to make sure that uh, folks are um, uh, working with the demos and making sure that those are ready. Then the following week will be ONS. Um, we will not have any active sprints, but we'll probably keep sprint one open. This way, folks are welcome to continue working on uh, deliverables. Not that they have, they're not attending ONS. And then sprint two will occur after ONS on the 10th of April. This will stand three weeks. 
And then the following sprint will only be two weeks, uh, ending in the future freeze. And then the following sprint will be focused on uh, GSEC fixes uh, to allow us to get an RC build in place and a release targeted for May 31st. Uh, brigades. So uh, brigades have been a pretty successful um, tool for us in order to get some future momentum. So there are plans to start up five new brigades uh, focused around GRPC, build and package infrastructure, teaching northbound, and security and performance analysis. Uh, we have some leads from the new brigades who will be sharing their plans uh, for the upcoming releases. Deployment. Luca? Yeah. So uh, you just heard that uh, uh, there are new brigades. One of these is the Northbound Brigade, which is collecting uh, most of the work uh, which was done in the context of deployment, which I will anyway try to summarize. Um, so just remember uh, to remember uh, the goal is to create a software stack exploiting bonus that could be really deployed uh, in networks uh, around the world, mainly a research network. Uh, the stack should provide layer zero to layer three connectivity. We're now focusing mainly on layer two slash layer three connectivity for now. Uh, what we propose for as deliverable for King Fisher are uh, um, lots of Northbound improvements that have started in Janko, uh, including support for uh, groups, bandwidth allocation, bandwidth enforcement, uh, and in different improvements uh, in the resource service. Uh, so we can go later when we talk about the Northbound Brigade more into detail into this. Uh, then we are working on uh, a special version of ONOS. Uh, so essentially, uh, we, we call it honest in a box, meaning um, that we, we will be able to have honors working directly on a white box switch, specifically an Acton switch. Uh, this will imply some work on the, around the intent framework, uh, some improvement, uh, specifically let it work with the OFDPA pipeline, which is not the case right now. Uh, and finally, we will work with the different tests um, done in Giant with the Corsa devices, specifically regarding ONOS in general, uh, but more specifically the BOD and the VPLS application. That's it. Okay, thanks, Luca. Uh, virtualization, you think? Hi, <coughs> I'm Yun San. So, from this sprint, I will serve as a leader. Of virtualization brigade instead of all. So uh, listen me, hear me. Yes, we can hear you. Okay. So our brigade member consists of eight members. So you can check each name on the slide. So actually, obviously, our goal is we wanted to enable the creation of SDN capable virtual network inside of but owners. So uh, simply, we wanted to provide open vertices capabilities and functionalities inside owners. So uh, from uh, for the last sprint, we implemented some basic and default uh, mechanisms to enable virtualization subsystem by implementing some providers, virtual providers and managers. And we think we're ready to implement and uh, we're ready to uh, provide some virtualization services. But the, uh, actually, now we don't have we suffer from this. Um, we have uh, some lag of the uh, northbound interfaces. Not, I'm not mentioning about the last APIs or that kind of user interfaces. So actually, uh, virtualization uh, service system we wanted to provide open flow as a, a northbound interfaces to enable to allow the connectivity between to support external SDN controllers. Uh, such as uh, open vertices. So we call this functionality as an open flow agent. Uh, and mm -hmm. also, actually, this uh, development is planned to finish in Junko 
sprint at Junko sprint but a little bit delayed so uh, our top priority for K release is we finish we wanted to we, fin we wanted to finish open flow agent in this sprint and also uh, provide the capabilities for each virtual network to uh, enable uh, connectivity to external networks it means that the, the, each virtual network can communicate with external networks such as the internet and also uh, in this sprint, we wanted to deploy some automated virtual network mapping and embedding algorithms. So, actually, current implementation is completely dependent on the the user CLI command to embed each virtual network to physical network. Because uh, this task is very time-consuming, and if the virtual network structure and topologies become complex, so this is a little bit horrible and painful. So we wanted to solve this situation by uh, introducing very simple and deployed virtual network embedding algorithms inside our server system. And also we already have some plans for the next L release deliverables, such as uh, we wanted to provide some open stack integration capabilities. We wanted to uh, serve our virtualization subsystem as a uh, cloud fabric and also we will uh, su uh, support some snapshotting and migration of virtual network from uh, uh, existing location to other location and also we will provide some more additional southbound implementations not only open flow we can support some netcom for OBS DBs to give some controllabilities and manageabilities to tenant controller. And also one of the important issues we wanted to make each virtual network service is more reliable. So we will also uh, deploy some simple algorithms for network, virtual network resilience. So that's it. Thank you. Uh, dynamic configuration. So aligning the roadmap, we have identified um, the following level of the schedule. Since we have a tight schedule until tight schedule until the demo, we have marked the task as what we can do before the uh, ONS demo and what we can take up after the demo. Uh, until the demo, we would be doing uh, finishing the JSON and external serializers, the netcon southbound and uh, uh, support for a L3 VPN service using the Yang model, L3 VPN Yang model. So we have identified two demos. One is to uh, like um, activate the device model and another is to activate a service model using dynamic configuration service. Um, so our focus would be on um, completing all the tasks uh, related to the demo and end-to-end -end integration and testing of the component. And uh, post ONS, we would be focusing on the risk on the northbound, completing some more of the that and then risk on from the softbound and uh, live compilation of the models, RPC support, Yang notification. Um, that's all we have. Okay, thanks, Cesar. Um, GUI, Simon? Yeah, so uh, for the GUI brigade in uh, King's Russia time frame, uh, we're looking at completing the uh, regional aware topology view that has been under uh, development for a while. Um, this will be um, uh, an alternative to the classic topology view where you'll be able to see just portions of your network and be able to drill into areas of interest. Um, as a, uh, another item, um, we used to have the dark theme on the on our UI. We're going to re-implement that for consultation with our graphic designer um, who provides color palettes for that. And then another thing that we want to do later in Kingfisher is basically clean up from any messy coding that happens in supporting ONS, ONS demos. Uh, looking further out, um, there is the uh, intent table. Uh, we want to be able to provide um, detailed information about selected items in that table. Uh, more generally, on our table views, we want to provide um, uh, keystroke navigations uh, for up and down selection and so on. Um, and then the, we've got this item, Implement Index Global Search Subsystem. This is kind of 
there's a little bit to um, pad out the space, but there's no actual use case driving it, so it remains to be seen, um, uh, you know, whether we go forward with this in, in Palo or not. Uh, but that's kind of a, a top-level summary of what Link and Gate does. This is a side note. Uh, in this morning's discussions with Deutsche Telekom, they definitely upvoted the regional wear topology. They did upvote it? Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, thanks, Simon. GRPC? Um, yeah. <laughs> All right, um, so for GRPC, we are focusing in Kingfisher on support for um, a significant subset of the core services being supported via GRPC. Um, basically, communications for off-platform applications, uh, fairly straightforward there. Um, the other thing we're hoping to do is have a demonstration application written in, I say Python here, but it could really be just another language to demonstrate usability of app, basically the ability of an application and outside language communicating with the ONS core. Um, for L, uh, we'd like to have all the core services set up for gRPC communication. and. This is tentative, but we are exploring the idea of native language libraries for other languages to basically enable the use of um, more complex constructs that would be difficult to send over um, as single messages. And we are also going to explore automated generation to basically keep um, keep the protobuf set up consistent with the actual Java interfaces. Um, if people want to reach out, there's contact information on the Brigade page. And, yeah. Okay, thanks, Aaron. Build and package infrastructure. Um, Schwab presented it this morning. I don't know if he's on the afternoon session. Okay, so uh, build and package infrastructure, part of that is targeting some of the code based disaggregation we had mentioned in the roadmap. Um, so as we look at short term, you'll see that an item in the road, um, in the uh, brigade goal list, as well as um, developing a pipeline for our notes and uh, making sure that the documentation is up to date. So for Kingfisher, one of the things that they'll be focused on would be um, POM file obsolescence. Um, as well as looking at a proof of concept for the disaggregation of the ONOS code base. Um, this will allow us to make sure that as new projects come in, we're able to host them um, as separate repos and provide kind of more independence of uh, the various projects. Okay. And then Teaching Brigade, um, I assume Abdul Halim is not uh, attending the session. He was at the morning session. Um, and so one of the focus that um, he has is uh, providing teaching material uh, for actually both ONOS and CORD. Um, so what we see here is for Kingfisher, uh, they're looking at providing documentation of kind of the whole picture in terms of virtualization, uh, and the SDN, including Docker, OpenStack, ONOS, and uh, XCORD, XCORD being uh, our various core platforms um, core as well as uh, M Core, E Core, uh, providing three levels of training for beginners, intermediate, and advanced users, um, as well as modular material at the beginners level. Uh, with L, um, focus on uh, training material um, based on Ernest Build. And so one of the things that uh, Abdulhalim was interested in was uh, new members. So if you're interested, uh, feel free to join the brigade. He was looking for CORD folks. Uh, my recommendation there is probably to attend the CORD CSP and uh, make proposals there uh, to uh, recruit. And then Northbound Brigade, Hamal. Yeah, I'm not sure we have very, uh, Himal online. Yeah. Hello, yeah. Hey. So, would you like yeah, to go through it? Yeah. Or? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so for the Northbound Brigade, yeah, we started in parallel with the Deployment Brigade to improve the performances of the, especially the intent framework so that we can support more applications and also make it work on uh, more devices, act on switches, and different protocols so that we can support the OFDPA pipeline. 
So for the Kingfisher deliverables, we, we have the new intent installer so that we have support for groups and new flow objective, flow objective compilers and drivers. And also along with this, we'll have resource, resource service and bandwidth enforcement and allocations, which we are working on. And uh, I'm not sure, look how if we have the OFTPA pipeline support as well, right? We do. Yeah, I can transfer to do this work. I just left it. Uh, that's why I left it in the deployment brigade. But I mean, at the end, we are all working on the same stuff, right? So it, there, there's some stuff here that uh, yeah. is useful for sure as the resource groups. Uh, or the intent installers, or the intent compilers, which will be used also for uh, that task. Um, yeah, exactly. Here are just the, the stories that are related to the not bound. OK, yeah. So yeah, that's our main goals for now. Yeah, thanks. OK, thanks, Malika. Um, Security and Performance Analysis Brigade. Um, so this will be launched in the mid-March timeframe. Uh, the focus of this is to do analysis of the controller performance and um, security with the intent to produce security and performance reports for each of the ONOS uh, releases um, and to compare it with um, other controllers. Um, the kickoff is planned for late March uh, with uh, some hackathons uh, in 2017 and a uh, initial report during the summer. QA. Uh, from a future test standpoint, the QA team is going to be targeting uh, some of the brigade features like virtualization and northbound. Um, they'll also be uh, looking at um, and investigating failed Delta security tests. Uh, as we had noted, um, Delta security suite integration was integrated uh, in Junco, and so this will be furthering that work. Um, there are plans to enhance the protected intent test, um, add new distributed uh, primitives to HA tests, as well as investigate and, and improve HA stability. There were lots of uh, work done in uh, Junco to uh, improve AK stability, and then this will be continuing that effort to uh, resolve some of the, the issues or additional issues we've seen, um, as well as collaborate with the various brigades and investigate OF 1.5 features. Uh, from a performance and scale test standpoint, uh, the plan would be to collaborate with the security and performance analysis brigade. We want to make sure that there is um, uh, no overlap there, uh, as well as to update the performance uh, benchmark white paper continue BLL collaboration, and continue performance tests with Verizon and Huawei. Uh, some additional enhancements, uh, there will be uh, changes in the L release uh, for the test on and mini net based upon ONO script, um, as well as uh, additions to the wiki page uh, on how to report a bug, as well as uh, additional updates uh, to help the community get more involved in uh, on our QA efforts. And then packet optical, Mark. Hello, can you hear me okay? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, so uh, two topics. One is the long overdue open road and work uh, that will be built on top of the um, uh, activities by the Dynamic Config Brigade. Uh, the second one is uh, figuring out if we can uh, apply all our work we've done for packet optical in the mobile front haul back haul um, use case. <clears throat> and then in terms of collaboration, we're probably going to be working with uh, the, the northbound interface and the dynamic config interface um, brigades uh, to support uh, the activities we have with NTT uh, for their field trial for this aggregated road. That's it. OK, thanks, Mark. Um, open stack integration. Winston, are you on? Okay. Um, so the focus of open stack integration is um, making Sona production ready. Um, there are proposed Kingfisher as well as L releases. 
Going to Kingfisher, they're looking to add support for security groups, improve NAT performance with OVS NAT, uh, support VDAN mode, as support for VM and container mixed workloads, provide automated deployment of Sona, and add automated feature testing. Um, L is going to see the addition of uh, container-based EMF and hardware appliances such as load balancer and firewall, um, as well as control plane and data plane monitoring tools. This subsystem supports Yen. Yep. Um, okay, I will give some report for this. So since most part of the implementation show for these providers and protocols have been placed in IBIS release, so from King uh, Fisher release, we like to um, more focus on developing the mapping management application, which is intended to manage the mapping information collected from Southbound. So uh, first of all, we will plan, um, we'll um, implement a mapping store and the corresponding delegate to store mapping information among multiple owners controllers. Top of that, mapping service along with the manager will be delivered. And then, as long as the manager is ready, then we would like to add various interfaces, including CLI, REST, and the GUI, in a way to query the mapping information from the various like interfaces. Now, by far, this control doesn't support um, uh, master ship service, so you like to add this feature in this release. And uh, since standard, this protocol has no capability to support such a, such, uh, such a master ship, so we plan to either augment protocol itself or exploit that kind of protocol to implement this feature. So for L deliverables, we plan to add TDT feature, uh, and finally, uh, we like to integrate the programmable mapping interface with the flow objective to ease the mapping pro programmability. And we hope the community can give some hands on um, evaluating the performance of this subsystem. And we already plan to work with the performance brigade uh, to develop some like stress tools for Lisp SPI. And that's all we plan for Kingfisher release. Thanks. Okay, thanks again. Yes, I'm here. Can you hear me? Okay. So, yeah, I kind of had some trouble editing the Google Docs page, so it's not quite updated. Um, but for the uh, K, K, uh, Kingfisher releases, uh, our uh, plan is to uh, introduce topology abstractions to allow um, uh, ACTN uh, functionality to uh, function as a controller can, that can interface with um, it, with the top level controller in a hierarchy, uh, as well as for the uh, translation between the um, top level um, tunnel uh, to a lower level tunnel uh, to a low, into the lower level uh, controller, and we also plan to uh, introduce. Tunnel protection, protected the tunnel support for um, for uh, uh, for the tunnel functionalities. Uh, one thing that was not put in there uh, is the uh, integration of uh, ATTM with uh, dynamic config. Um, as of today, our uh, young uh, young U2s and YMS integration is still with the uh, <laughs> existing. Uh, uh, Existing tools, and we want to switch it to dynamic config as soon as the uh, basic functions for dynamic config is ready. And also for the next uh, L release, uh, the uh, current plan is to uh, to do continuous integration with uh, dynamic config as as I would uh, uh, expect, and also um, some bug fixes for the f existing functionalities. Yeah, that's it from my end. Thanks, Ahua. Security mode on us. Tony, are you on? Okay, for security mode on us, um, there are some deliverables for Kingfisher as well as the L release. So for Kingfisher, it's fully supporting BUT, um, automatic uh, granting of permission for pre-authorized apps and annotated permission checking. Uh, in the L release, the focus will be on performance improvement. Um, Kingfisher Sprint 1 is uh, going to start this Thursday. Uh, the sprint planning session is at 3 p.m. Uh, the sprints have already been added to JIRA, so you can go in there and add the stories that you plan to work on. Uh, for those that uh, 
need additional sprints created for your brigade, please uh, feel free to ping me and I can get those added. Okay. I think that's all we've got. Um, thanks, everyone. Any questions or comments? Okay, thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. One month two and a half. One month two and a half.